जयो सावरे सावरे हो सावरे हो सावरे सावरे आई जयो किनारे मेरो गा जमुना किनारे मेरो गा मेरो गा जमुना किनारे मेरो गा मेरो गा सावरे ऐ जयो सावरे जमुना किनारे मेरी ऊंची हवेली जमुना किनारे हो जमुना किनारे मेरी जमुना किनारे मेरी जमुना किनारे मेरी ऊंची हवेली जमुना किनारे मेरी जमुना किनारे मेरी जमुना किनारे जमुना किनारे मेरी ऊंची हवेली जमुना किनारे मेरी जमुना किनारे जमुना किनारे जमुना किनारे मेरी ऊंची हवेली मेरी ऊंची हवेली जमुना किनारे मेरी ऊंची हवेली जमुना किनारे मेरी जमुना जमुना किनारे मेरी ऊंची हवेली ब्रज की मैं नार नवेली ब्रज की मैं ए ब्रज की हूँ मैं ए ब्रज की हूँ मैं नार नवेली जमुना किनारे सानिध निरे गम गग निरे गम म गग निरे पम गम म गग निरे गरे निरे निधनि पद म प गम प नि सी नि पम गम म गग ग जमुना किनारे सानिध नि सारे गम म म म म साध मद सारे गम म गग सारे गा मा मे रे प मा रे मा रे मदनी दसानी दनी मनी मा गा मा रे बरे जमुना जमुना 
किनारे मेरे सप म ब म ब म ब ग म ग म ग म ब म ब म ब ग म रे प म म म ग म ब ग म रे म ग नि र नि द नि द प द म ब ग म ब नि स रे प रे स जमुना की जमुना किनारे मेरी ऊंची हवेली ब्रज की हूँ मैं नारवेली राधा रंगीली मेरु ना राधा रंगीली मेरु ना मेरु ना सावरे ऐ जयो सावरे ऐ जयो सावरे ऐ जयो जमुना किनारे मेरु गा जमुना 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 किनारे मेरु गा मेरु गा सावरे हो सावरे ऑल हेड सो एज मोस्ट ऑफ यू must know this song which has become very very popular because of the film bhai and before that it was made popular by my grandfather dr vasundrao deshpande but i must say that this is kumar ji's composition and it is a krishna bhajan by chandra sakhi there are two approaches of uh, this song you know two ways of approaching this song let's call it a bhajan okay because it's about uh, krishna ji and why i'm saying there are two approaches because if you many of you must have listened to kumar ji's rendition of this uh, beautiful composition and when you listen to that you can sense that yeah this is a bhajan but when you listen to my grandfather's way of uh, unfolding this composition you realize that it's more of a dadra than you know the 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 handling of that uh, composition is more like a dadra than a bhajan but it's equally beautiful what i'm trying to say is you can express bhakti ras there is not a there isn't you know it's not a set there is not a set way of singing a bhajan you know or singing a thumri so we've been used to singing uh you we we we've been used to listening to a certain kind of a composition in a certain way and i think why these people were great because they chose to think differently and yes you can express this the same kind kind of bhakti ras in a different way why not and the deity is krishna ji who is famous for his ras leela and everything you know so there is that playfulness in that composition which is beautiful beautifully brought out by my grandfather's visualizing of that same composition so i'm not going to sing the entire thing maybe if sometime in the future there are three verses to this but i'm choosing to sing only one because i have elaborated fair bit that's why आ 
so i am a little in between these two renditions because i have listened to my grandfather's version for more than i don't i don't remember more than 5 or 6000 times and i have uh, three or four different uh, recordings of the same song and the beauty of this the beauty of the upas gayake you know uh the intuitive form of exploring so you ha- you are always in the moment and you you sing whatever comes to your mind but it is always musical that's the difference between us and these great singers so as i said i have three or four different recordings of this uh, same uh, bhajan and they come as a completely new song to you you know what i'm saying so when i listen to that that's when what happens is i go into a cocoon like it's not possible it's not humanly possible to sing a same song four and five times completely differently while Uh, maintaining the sanctity and the originality of the composition am i making any sense that's how i uh, see this and that's why uh, i can never be like my grandfather or kumar ji because they jisko hum nayak bolte hain ki devo ke dev jaise mahadev hote hain waise gayakon ke gayak hai हो गए सो दैट्स वाई एंड आई वुड लव टू एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन दिस सॉन्ग इन माई ओन वे बट आई एम ग्लैड दैट आई डोंट हैव अ रिदम इंस्ट्रूमेंट टूडे बिकॉज मेनी अ टाइम्स वॉट हैपन्स इज वेन यू आर सिंगिंग विद अ सर्टन काइंड ऑफ रिदम वॉट आई फील समाइम्स इज you get locked into that uh, you know expression where you have to sing with that rhythm and sometimes if you have to unfold this these words sometimes especially while singing a thumri i feel or a dadra i feel sometimes it's easier and it's better for me to explore it just on my own without any accompaniment and that's what i did and this is a beautiful setting today my dear friends as i told you that we are experimenting uh, by going somewhere uh, going to some place which is very close to nature so we have shot a couple of uh, i think in a couple of venues which were beautiful and this one is again very unique and very exquisite and one of its kind uh, uh, kind of a place it's called zoshi farms and it is i think 50 or 60 kilometers from pune and uh, i am very glad and i am very thankful to dr uh, jitendra zoshi and his entire family for being such kind and generous hosts and letting us come here and uh, you know do this so uh, from the bottom of my heart i really thank them i have had one of the best upmas of my life just a while ago and we have like a day which is planned maybe 6 7 8 songs i don't know so uh, but the beauty of this is why i'm saying because if you have to explore pure music you know like real music let's say real music not pure you have to be very close to nature now what has happened that everybody has this whenever you get up first first thing that you do is you see are kis how many messages do i have what are you just you are stuck and you're a slave to all of this and what i feel I always gather a lot of inspiration from Pandit Kumar Gandharval you know he went to Devas for medical reasons whatever but he was so close to nature 
and whenever he every day he used to water his plants and uh, i was told that he had a like a a speaker and his uh, helper he used to maneuver that speaker wherever he used to go and the only tanpur i used to play on that speaker and he used to water his plants and he used to think about music and whenever he used to see a flower whenever he used to see a beautiful leaf you know he used to see music in that because that's how he was one with the nature and in order to understand the 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 sanctity and the purity of our music truly you you know i think that i need like a detox complete detox from this uh real world that we are living in and just you know try to explore because for me it is frightening sometimes you know because i'm so much uh you know there's a very dangerous routine that i'm following these days when i get up i go to the gym i come back then maybe i my students come then i sit for some music you know sometimes otherwise i tell them some uh, maybe something to practice and then i go to my room and i start watching you know what netflix or some any kind of uh, binge watching and i think i have consumed almost 40% of what the entire uh, what ott platform has to offer the the better content which is very bad and i always feel that i'm uh, whiling away my time i'm just wasting my time you know when i st- I, i know i'm digressing and i can see that it's anyway you're used to it now when i was in school i used to play a lot and hardly ever i i never did my homework and i was not a very bright student academically and this voice in my head always used to tell me rahul what are you doing you should you know sit and study and that used to be like a nightmare for me actually that a little moment where it becomes very real to you you know everything suddenly you know you know what you have to do but you don't do it because of all the things that uh, consume you otherwise and the same thing happened to me uh, these days it's happening to me rahul what are you doing you you should you sit and listen to some good music and you should do that and yesterday i had a program and uh, it was a i was very glad that there were like 100 people in front of me in this um pandemic because all i have is this the camera which is you and uh, maybe i visualize somebody sitting reading and listening to me or somebody watching me on the television whatever but acha the tanpura stop so i broke my i what was i seeing kashab dal bolo tumhe yeah so the thing is i sang a particular rag i sang gaud malhar after 20 years 20 years since i was singing mia malhar and some other kind of uh, you know type of malhars for maybe 3 or 4 years the organizer said that please would you sing a different kind of malhar and it was after a long long time that i sat and i listened to uh, you know kumar ji i listened to pandit db paluskar malini tai rajurkar ullas dada a lot of them and i heard all you know versions of their uh, gaud malla and that made me thinking ki ah nahi ye nahi ye karna chahiye so it actually gave a little uh you know kya bolte hai usko it made my rusty mind you know a little it started to work and i was so tense yesterday before i sat to sing which never used to happen but i was glad that i was tensed because it was a 100% i was 100% into my music and that time i realized why these great singers i'll not name them 
वो टेम्परामेंटल और यू नो नॉर्मल पीपल यूज टू से लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स कि ये बहुत बड़े हैं और ये समय पर नहीं आते या एक बार अगर बैठे तो आधा घंटा एक घंटा तानपुरा लगाते हैं इट्स नॉट अबाउट दैट इट इज़ ऑल अबाउट गेटिंग योर सेल्फ इन टू दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग सो सी आई एम एन ऑर्गेनाइजर एंड आई एम ऑल्सो एन आर्टिस्ट आई एम ऑल्सो सिंगर सो आई नो टू साइड्स ऑफ द सेम थिंग यू नो एज एन ऑर्गेनाइजर इफ आई सी एट एन लुक एट एन आर्टिस्ट हु इज थ्रोइंग टैन टर्म्स अकॉर्डिंग टू मी द ऑर्गेनाइजर समटाइम्स येस दे आर दीज आर्टिस्ट डू दैट बट नॉट ऑल द टाइम बिकॉज यस्टरडे आई डेंट वॉन्ट टू टॉक टू एनी वन इट्स नॉट लाइक मी आई डेंट वॉन्ट टू क्लिक एनी पिक्चर्स बिफोर द कॉन्सर्ट आई डेंट वॉन्ट टू डू एनी थिंग आई वॉज जस्ट इन टू माई म्यूजिक आई वॉज नॉट इवन विलिंग टू टॉक टू द ऑर्गेनाइजर आई सेट प्लीज डू नॉट डिस्टर्ब मी आई डिड नॉट हैव टी आई डिड नॉट हैव एनी थिंग आई डिरेक्टली वेंट ऑन स्टेज एंड आफ्टर आई फिनिश्ड माई परफॉर्मेंस इट फेल्ट एज इफ आई येस आई वॉज वेरी वेरी ऑनेस्ट टू माई आर्ट and when i sit on the stage i should be only honest to the art and not to anything else so anyway that is the take from this today's uh, elaborate session on savari ajayo please do let me know how you like this if you like it please show some love bye